I'm Daniel Decay with Banger TV. This week I'm interviewing proggy, melodic, technical, and orchestral death metal band Allegiant. Check it out. How's it going, boys? I'm here with Greg, yes, guitarist, sir. Riley, vocalist. Yes, sir. Uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. I know you just literally rolled out of bed and you still got your first coffee my of the day. Coffee. I brushed my teeth today, so I'm in a way better mood than normal. Dude, you are and killing it right thanks. now. Brush your teeth and change your socks. I, I, dude. I need to catch up with this but guy. But the real question is, who's wearing fresh underwear? Oh. Oh, neither of us. No. no. So you're in Toronto today promoting uh, your brand new record, Opponent for Sentience. You did do a cover of Subvisions on the latest record. Yep. What's the choice behind that and did Rush really play an influence for you? We knew we were going to do a cover for the album. We just didn't know what. Once the album kind of fleshed out a little bit though, we realized that there were like a lot more kind of progressive overtones, you know, in, in like the melodic structure of, of the songs. Mm -hmm. And then we all just kind of were like, wait, Rush is a band. <laughs> oh, we all love them, and so. Well, you you definitely talk about uh, the the proggy elements of the album. I gotta mention, it was long. Yeah. Like, did the length of it just was it to complete the storyline? Why not go full on double? What really transpired is we, Mike and I, got panicked because we just like hit writer's block, and we were on tour all the time. So we were like, I don't know how we're gonna finish, dude. This record, we just don't know. And then all of a sudden, I don't know, the floodgates opened, and then it became even longer with the Rush stuff. Because we had, we actually did another Rush cover, we did Animate too, which will be released sometime. Lyrically, uh, it's pretty bleak. Uh, man versus machine, <laughs> yeah. AI, I guess that's your department. Uh, how the fuck do you stay positive when you're literally writing a record about the destruction of your own race? So, good questions. Um, it's really cool diving into the whole element of like philosophy of the mind and how Consciousness is attained, you know, through whether it's like a biological structure or an AI brain. Not only the scientific elements of it, but also the philosophical elements of it, I think were kind of what kept me excited and hopeful for, for writing it, just because philosophy is a, a big uh, passion of mine. I always found it really interesting. I've heard you reference, Greg, before. Uh, Marty Friedman, mm -hmm. Dave Mustaine played a huge role, in, uh, influential role in your uh, guitar playing career. Yep. I see that you also play that Chris Broderick uh, signature Jackson soloist, yep. and that you toured with Active Defiance, some former Megadeth members. Yeah. What was that as, as an experience for you as like you know a, a Megadeth kid? Oh, dude, it was it was absolutely awesome. And actually, that uh, that Chris Broderick signature Chris gave me. It was like one of those things, it's like, what do you say when somebody gives you like that? I, I may have come off like the most ungrateful dude ever, because I'm like, uh... <laughs> yeah. Rendered speechless. Yeah, I was very rendered speechless, but uh, hopefully I make him proud by using it well. Yeah, that was, that was one of my favorite tours ever. You know, it was great, you know, hearing a lot of Megadeth stories and stuff like that. Especially with Sean Grover, I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Tell me something about that. Oh, uh, Sean? Yeah. He's an awesome guy. And he's, he's like just... our cranky uncle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's like an older brother. Yeah, so it's exa that's exactly what it is. And yeah, Lo I mean, love him so much. But, you know, when I get little texts like... from him that say, just eat my nuts, and he's wearing the Legion hat, you know. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A good sense of humor like uh, the rest of you guys, it appears. It looks like you like to have a little bit of fun. Uh, is it important to have that balance? Nah, I think it's important to take what you do seriously, but not yourself. And so... We're grown men yelling at people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, uh... Are jackasses. Yeah, pretty much. We're just a bunch of idiots. Um... <laughs> <laughs>